Today, it's time to clean my Dickinson cabin heater. It doesn't need cleaning very much, but occasionally it does. And these are, these are great heaters, these drip pot diesel heaters where diesel just drips into a pot at the bottom and then it, it burns. There's very little to go wrong with them. They rarely require work. But every once in a while, like it, if, if you're running it constantly, it'll require cleaning maybe every month or two. Every once in a while, you just have to clean out the inside of it. And it's a dirty job and it's straightforward. And that's what I'm going to do in this video today. Clean out the Dickinson diesel heater. That heater I'm going to clean out today is right here with the kettle on it. And it's a very straightforward unit. You can, you can see, you can, you can cook on the top. That's why I've got the kettle there. I can also put a frying pan on there. I cook on it lots. And <clears throat> then it just, the, chimney goes up. It's a pretty straightforward unit. What we need to do this is we need a garbage bag. We need some paper towels and it really helps to have a glove because it's it's really dirty in there it, 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 and it really helps to have a glove. And that's pretty much it. It's really straightforward. Uh, watch how we do it. <laughs> We've got our garbage bag here. Stove comes with two tools. Comes with this to go and lift the top off. I'm going to move the kettle out of the way. And we'll just set that up here. Now, it's very black in there. So let's put some light down there. Now you can see this black ring here, that is the heater coil that hot water is heated in there and then goes to a tank and heats the cabin indirectly. Most of the heat comes right off the unit itself. And this down here is the burner pot. So we're going to be working down there. The stove comes with another tool, which is this one, which is used to keep stuff from falling down the hole. I'm going to show you in a sec. Now, this centerpiece lifts straight out and up. And this is the uh, heat deflector, I think it's called. Uh, it causes the, the flame, it, it deflects the flame down. And you can see, I think you can see the hole, you see the shiny diesel there, and around that is junk. That is junk that has to be cleaned. So I'm going to put this aside. I'm actually going to put it in the garbage can or garbage bag, though I'm going to take it out later. I'm going to carefully put this down here. That's what I was trying to avoid. I do not want dirt in here. Okay. So I've got that, keeping the dirt out. Okay, this ring also comes up. This is another heat deflector. Watch out, it's, it's got this fine dirt on it. I just shook it off in the garbage. You see that black? That black has to come off. It's just carbon. Practically any, any old tool will work for this. You know what I'm trying to push the stuff away from the hole. Okay, I'm going to stop and vacuum for a sec. Just to keep the dirt under control. Very helpful to have a vacuum for this. You can do without it. It's really helpful to have it. That's the pot. Now we still got the other pieces to clean. This back in. I'm gonna temporarily 
And then put the garbage bag. So we're really trying to keep everything in the garbage bag here. Okay, see that? I want to get rid of that. Now, if I wasn't trying to film this, I'd probably have gloves on both hands. But because I'm trying to film this, I need clean hands to touch the, the camera. This is pretty clean. There's nothing loose on it anymore. That's, that's what I want. I want to get all the loose carbon off. Okay, so that's okay. And then we still have... We still have the ring. Again, what counts is that we're getting loose carbon off. It doesn't have to be shiny and clean. Just loose carbon has to come off. We go back in. Carefully, we're lifting this out. It's actually designed to bring up um, junk, anything that's caught in there. Nothing's caught in there. It doesn't. I think I. I generally put the ring in first. I don't think it really matters. This ring goes on the at the bottom the bottom of there may appear to be two places to put it it's at the lower one this one you do have to get this hole has to go over that hole okay and you can't actually see that because because the heat deflector obscures it so you have to just keep looking at it and estimating and getting to sit right if you sit it right on top of the hole one of the pieces of metal then the the uh, flame can't get out. The, the diesel can't get out. We turn on the heat. Shortly, we should see fuel spilling out into the pot. And if we don't see that, we start looking. Uh, look for the, the um, heat deflector to be obscuring the hole or look for a piece of dirt to be down in that hole. And that's a real pain if there is a piece of dirt down in the hole. Because unless you can vacuum it out and actually get it out along with whatever fuel is there, then you kind of have to take the regulator apart and, and blow into it. And it looks to me, we are almost getting a bit of fuel there. It's starting to look moist. I can't see it in the camera, though I can actually see there is fuel coming out. It's time to light. Now, I think now you can see I had turned off the fuel uh, right after I was trying to show it to you. And but more time has come, has transpired and it's spread out a lot more than it did before. You, you can plainly, I'm sure you can see that it's wet in the bottom. And that is a lot of fuel to start with. I need a little bit of toilet paper, any kind of paper. And I want to drop that in to the wet part, and that never works the first time. So push it down. Get it soaked. Now matches. So I'm going to strike the match. I'm going to drop it on the wet paper, getting my handle ready. Combustion assist, assist fan instead, 
you would turn that on instead, but I don't have one. So what I do, I have this barometric damper, which keeps a lot of heat in the boat. This, by the way, is a screen. This is screen and uh, it's steel and it keeps you away from this hot chimney. And it's, I really like it because it's, it's very, it's strongly attached. It's custom built. It's strongly attached to the boat. You can fall into this and you won't get burnt and you won't get hurt. I, this barometric damper opens up and that's the normal position it's at. It, it moves around a bit to adjust for air pressure. But if you have it closed, then there's a stronger draft pulling the air up the stack. And you can look at the front. And you can see, you can just see the flame because there's a lot of light. It's not so obvious there's a flame, but you can just see the lights of the flame there. And we need to let the that almost go out and then we apply more fuel. And that's it. So it's cleaner, it's better. So, so this is this is how it looks. It's been burning for roughly two weeks since I last cleaned it, since I showed you cleaning. It's been burning for two weeks with probably three starts in that time, but pretty much burning all the time. So that's the that's how it looks. You can see there's a tiny bit of of stuff of leftover paper right around the burner. That's all. So you can also see that the heating tube, that black tube that got quickly black again, but there's no big buildup in the combustion area.